Hey there, Tano. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Frost Harka skin and the Freesta Longsword weapon skin. Now, for, before any of you actually get too confused if you haven't gotten a hold of it yet, the Freesta Longsword skin is for a one handed sword. So, those of you that were hoping it was going to be something for the Galatine or the War, that's not happening. Now, all in all, the Frost Harka skin and helmet are actually very cool with a lot of metallic bits. As you can see, it doesn't color too bad either. Now, what happens whenever you go to color it is all these little bits, all these little details right here on his coat, those are all your accent color. Your primary color is what's going to determine, like, right on the side of his abs. And then his abs and the, the coat's main color, as you can see, are your secondary and tertiary colors. And it, the handle and hilt are basically the same deal with the long sword skin with the blade and some of the more ornate details hidden in the handle being the exact same way. But what we're going to do is we're just going to drop right into a mission for you to see some of the chain to see the skin in action yourselves. Target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. It is time for those against us to pay. We'll need to be careful. You found the target. Go figure, the capture target would be a nullifier. And I don't have enough energy to use Avalanche either. I did not think that one through. Well, since I've already got this out of the way, I'm just going to take a quick look around to get some of my marks for the Red Veil. Holy freaking nullifiers. I mean, I understand that they got a few changes with the update, but jeez. Unfortunately, I don't remember off the top of my head what those changes were. So, if you guys want me to go through that, I'm afraid I would have to do a separate video after I read through the patch notes. that direction. Or not. Okay, I've got 40 energy. Hopefully I find a cluster of enemies that aren't encased in a nullifier bubble. Oh, plain as day, right there. Hey, 
And what, pray tell, were they doing over here? Not really too many visual changes. I mean, I think there was this... I was playing with some people last night, and I guess there was a slight visual change to his snow glow. Of course, that might have been due to the guy not playing for a while as well. Because he had said that it was around this time last year when he had stopped playing. And as for me, I don't actually know because it's been close to three months since the last time I actually played Frost. So, but the skin does look beautiful, both of them. They flow very nicely. I mean, if my aim wasn't so shit, this would look a lot better. And the sad thing about this is that I'm me doing melee, but I don't have melee auto-targeting. If you use it, good for you, but I feel like I'm cheating whenever I do. And I'd just pop that on myself. Go figure. I'm not gonna waste your time by looking for all of them. If I didn't find them on the way, I'm not going so far out of the way just to try to find it. And as you can see, the skin does look very nice. It flows very well. And as far as all the Warframes to date that have gotten premium skins, this is definitely one of the be one of the best ones that have been added among their ranks. The only other skin that I can think of that has as many metallic components to it as this would be the Palatine Rhino skin with the metallic chest. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, Tano. Until next time.